Welcome back, everyone. This is Rudy Rodriguez Shomont with another edition of Combat Corner, where we talk UFC today. It's UFC Fight Night in Denver, Colorado this evening. So we're doing this kind of late, but we're getting it up. Main event is Rose Nama Yunus versus Tracy Cortez. This initially was supposed to be the, the Rose versus Macy Barber fight. But Barber had to pull out with an injury. And Tracy Cortez has stepped in. Let's talk about this fight. It's a huge fight for Tracy Cortez. It's a fight that if she can pull off a win, would make her relevant, to say the least, in the division at 125. She doesn't have any wins of note that would make you say, oh my God, not yet. So she's, uh, what is her record right now? She's 11 and one. And I think she's undefeated in the UFC. Um, okay, yeah, she's 11 and one. Her only loss was the first fight of her career in Invicta in the UFC. I mean, she has a win over Aaron Blanchfield in Invicta. Um, but in the UFC, she has wins over Maria Agapova in the Contender Series, Vanessa Mello, Stephanie Egger, Justine Kish, Melissa Gatto, and Jasmine Joseph Davies. I can't pronounce that. Nonetheless, this is the biggest fight of her career. And how does she approach the biggest fight of her career? By not making weight. That's a problem. This is the biggest opportunity of your life. You step in. I know it was short notice. But you didn't make weight. So you weren't prepared. Reminds me of someone she used to date named Brian Ortega, who I'm a huge fan of, who has a seemingly similar troubles cutting weight, always looking like he's about to die when he cuts weight. It's one of those things that, as a fight fan, bother me to no end. Your job is to make weight. That's your job. It's your only job. And fight, obviously. But your job is to make weight. And to me, the punishments for fighters not making weight is nowhere near where it should be. Now, she did come back within the time limit prescribed and made weight at 126. So she initially weighed in at 126.5. And she comes back about an hour later or so, whatever it was, and she makes the 126 mark. And of course, they show this over-dramatized nonsense that she cut her hair she cut about this much of her hair off of her head to make it seem like that's how she made weight. Sorry. I, I don't buy that that's how she made weight. I think she probably went to the bathroom. She sat in the sauna for an hour and sweat. But this thing where they where some fighters cut their hair off, some fighters, yes, I do believe. I think dudes with dreads, dreads can be very heavy. Um, so when you shave your head, take off all your dreads, like that, that can make a difference. But she cut off this much hair. You're not going to sit here and tell me that this much hair weighed a half a pound. It did not. That was for dramatics. That was for, oh, I, I'll do anything to make the weight. My dear, you didn't make weight on the first try. You didn't make weight. The biggest fight of your life, and you didn't make the weight on the first try. Which leads me to believe one thing. Rose Namajunas is going to kick the shit out of Tracy Cortez tonight. This is going to be a wipeout. This is going to be a wipeout. That's my opinion. Rose Namajunas is a fight away from fighting for a title. She's going to be fighting for it. She wins tonight. She's up for a, she's up for a title shot. We don't know who's fighting in um, who's fighting Grasso because I mean, you know, there's been reports that uh, Shevchenko doesn't want to fight in September at the Sphere, which is crazy to me because I thought everybody wanted to fight there. Um, obviously, Faro is a is is a is a person who could fight against uh, Grasso, but Cortez is running her mouth talking about how she's you know she would love to fight Grasso in the Sphere. You couldn't make weight. 
for this. And this is 126, not 125. What is today? Today is July 13th. Today is July 13th. The fight in the sphere is the middle of September. Let's say Tracy Cortez does make win the fight tonight. Let's say she does. Do you trust her to make the weight? If I'm the UFC, there's no way I'm trusting her to make weight. Not in not in eight weeks. I don't trust her to make this weight without a problem. I don't trust her at all. And she has to lose another pound on top of that. You already know that she probably hydrated up. She probably is 140 right now. But this is a bad look. When you sit here and you talk about how, you, you know, this is the best opportunity of your life and all this crap, and then you can't make weight the first time, and you do this, I'm going to cut my hair thing to make it look cool and all that fake nonsense. It's, it's pathetic to me. And, and I think that it's a bad look. And, and if she was to somehow win this fight, which I don't think she's going to win this fight, I think she's going to get absolutely smashed. Now, I may have to eat my crow because Rose is not as big of a favorite as I thought she would be. She's minus 142. I don't know who the hell makes a minus 142 odds. Why not minus 140 or minus 145? But there's no way in the world this is that close. To me, if Rose is anywhere near where Rose can fight at, I think Rose wins this fight easily. So that's the main event. It's a big main event. Um, it's in Denver. It's where Rose lives. Um, she lives in Colorado. In, in, in Colorado. And... Um, it's gonna. It gives Tracy Cortez a chance to really be seen. But when you come in with this, I don't make weight the first go around, man. That's just a bad, bad look. On the co-main event, you have Santiago pa Santiago Ponzinibbio versus Muslim Sek Salikov. Um, you have Drew Dober versus Gene Silva. You have Gabriel Bonfim and Ange Lusa. Julian Arosa versus Christian Rodriguez and Abdul Razak Al Hassan versus Cody Brundage. This is your main card. I would like to see the UFC do a better job with these main cards on these fight nights. If you're going to put fight night in a city, this has to be a better card. Yeah, so these are good fighters. I mean, but this isn't a build. This doesn't build up names. Like, I don't know. Cody Brundage, Brundage was just on the main the, the main card of UFC 300 versus Bo Nickel. And he's opening up a fight night card. I'm shocked he's even on the main card. Because I didn't think he'd ever be on a main card again after the, the Bo Nickel fight. You know, but you have on the undercard Joshua Vaughn, Charles Johnson, Jasmine, Jaz, Jaz, whatever. The girl who Tracy Cortez beat last. Against Fatima Klein, Damon Blackshear, Montel Jackson, Lu Luana Santos versus Maria Agapova, Josh Fremo versus Andre, Andre Petrosky, Evan Elder versus Darius Flowers. Overall, a lot of people that most 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 fans who don't watch every single day have never heard of. There's a few sprinkled in there, but people are going to be turning this fight card on to go watch this Rose fight because Thug Rose is still Thug Rose and she's still a big name and she still brings lots of viewers. I love Santiago Ponzinibbio. I love that guy. He fights. I love that dude. Drew Dober fights. Like, those are guys that throw down. But I think Tracy Cortez has dropped the ball this, this week. She really paints herself in a bad light because... Even if she wins, I don't think there's any way the UFC would entrust her to be able to fight and make weight in September if her name was called. So what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow us at Come On Now Podcast at Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, and Come On Now Pod on X. And be sure to subscribe to us on our YouTube channel as we grow this bad boy. We are up over 1,500 subscribers, so thank you so much. Come on now.